Hi, hello, it's Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Uh, I really appreciate having you here, having catching up, chatting, letting me know what you think of all my designs and uh, what you think of all my um, tutorials, etc. If you like it, comment, like, do all that kind of stuff because it just helps me know I'm going in the right direction. <laughs> um, and today we are looking at some of the new stuff from the spring summer as it used to be called but it's now called mini 2020 mini january to june catalog uh, from stamping up so i've got a few things to show you some of them uh, are bundles so let's start with the bundles let's start with the with the bundles we can do so this is the forever blossoms bundle and it's got this gorgeous cherry blossom on it and these little uh, flowers and leaves and buds and leaves and some lovely sentiments uh, relating to getting married, loving people, uh, cherish every moment of this day, you mean so much to me, um, for friends, all of me loves all of you. I think that's a gorgeous sentiment for a husband and wife or um, wife to a daughter or a son or whatever. Love, always and forever, wishing you a long life together filled with love and promise. I mean, that's lovely for a wedding, isn't it? And then it comes with this set of dies called Cherry Blossom Dies. And in the dies, you get masses. Ooh. And I like especially the doubles. So two flower accents, two leaf accents, two leaf accents, two stamen die cuts, two little tiny flower accent die cuts, two tiny leaf die cuts. And then two of these flowers, which are embossed and dyed, but don't actually coordinate. So none of these coordinate with the actual stamp set. But what they're doing is they're building up um, a cherry blossom in relief as well. And then there's this whole sort of um, stamen-y stem thing here. Then you've got the ones that actually do cut out the dies. So you've got this big one here that cuts out this whole piece here. Then you have two leaves to cut this one two buds to cut this one and a leaf and a, a flower to cut those two out so I think that's a great set and I'm going to show you a little trick that I did when I was cutting um, stamping and cutting for this card so that's a bundle that you can purchase uh, the item number is on my screen and you can grab it from my store the links are in the description below then what you can do is you can then choose um, and a free item if you if you spend over £45 at the moment in my store because we have celebration going on and celebration is a massive sale that happens every year with stamping up and hopefully it will continue for many many years to come uh, but it basically means you get free stuff for every £45 that you spend and sometimes it changes each year as to what's what but this year I mean all the products change they're all unique they're exclusive to stamping up exclusive to um the celebration offering you can't buy these you can only earn them for free and this is the lily pad impressions designer series paper which as you can see is just like real artists impressions of lily pads and then on the other side you get these gorgeous sort of paint stroke real deep painted paint stroke colors look at that gorgeous oh love that one sort of bermuda bay kind of color so yeah really lovely and I decided, I mean, quite bold, you, you know, and some of these are quite bold and I know some people struggle using bold. So I thought I'd show you how I would use it. So piece of designer series paper, which I've then embossed with the subtle embossing folder. Uh, and the subtle embossing folder doesn't look very much. It looks quite subtle when you look at it from the outside. <laughs> um, it doesn't look very much on there. It kind of looks like woven fabric. And indeed, that is what it makes it look like. Um, so you pop your piece of design a series paper in there, run it through your big shot or other die cutting and embossing machines and it, it just gives you this texture on top of the texture that's already in the piece of paper from the painting uh, and it just makes it look like a canvas, makes it look like a piece of uh, a work of art. So I really like that, doing that uh, as a background. You're going to need uh, Flirty Flamingo, Blackberry Bliss and Granny Apple Green as my colours of choice. And then the sentiment comes from another Stamping Up uh, celebration set, Sending You Thoughts. So again, this you can get this stamp set free with a £45 order. You get a, a set of words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stamps, which it says down there, Pip. Nine stamps all about sending you great thoughts. So uh, with a great big wish for happiness, happy birthday, another sensational year of you. I like that one. Congratulations. You... It, 
so this one goes together i wish this one always catches me out should be the other way around i think if loving thoughts could heal you'd be better already so that's for the outside that's for the inside uh what's this i hear well all i can say is and then you can do congratulations thanks another sensational year of you happy birthday or with um those are kind of those all those four really go with that one and then sending a little something dot 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 with a great wish for happiness that would work together sending a little something dot 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 congratulations whatever so it's kind of a mix and match medley of sentiments Ooh, if that's even a thing uh, but it's a really good set and it's free with 45 pound order so you know why not and then the last thing that we're going to talk about is you may have spotted with your eagle eyes this stitched banner which looks different to the stitched shape normal banner which would be without the scallopy edge and you would be right this is a new uh sweet sweet there let me start that again stitched so sweetly dies okay it comes as a bundle with um so sentimental but it has these beautiful scalloped stitched rectangles in and a whole bunch of other dies which um have some fantastic label opportunities going on and the so sentiment um, stamp set just makes those come to life and you'll see more of those in the coming days as i do more videos so phew that's a rundown of all the stuff that i've used now let's crack on and actually do it so i've got a piece of flirty flamingo which i've cut in half lengthwise lengthways but you can do it either way you like if you prefer it book fold that's entirely up to you i only cut mine like this because of my photography for some reason cameras do not like it if you take a picture of a card that opens like a book i don't know why but there it is so flirty flamingo base then you're going to have a piece of blackberry bliss which is uh, 10 by 14.4 and a piece of dsp and this is nine and a half by 13.9 but before you attach this you are going to magically run it through your big shot with your subtles embossing folder and it's going to come out and look like that so there we go that's one i've done earlier um in true blue peter fashion as people in the uk would understand and then i've cut some pieces out already so we don't have to do it but i am going to show you what i did so that you can um see so i had a spare bit of cardstock for my stamping but i'm going to stamp on this and just show you how i how i did my flowers and how I did my cutting and the reason why I'm doing this is is not because you don't know how to do that because you do but I'm just showing you a little trick that I do especially when a die set has multiple dies in it so this one has two to cut out these leaves and it also has a die for this and a die for this so what I do is I stamp both leaves on a on a block together like this giving them enough room in between so that they can both run through the die cutting machine together okay and you need two of those so just work out which is the best most economical way of doing it probably this way to be fair okay and then i'm going to take my flower and pop it on all oh, these are rough just re-inked my flirty flamingo you can tell the difference <laughs> that's the color it's supposed to be um my, i've gone for a more soft look on my previous ones so then when i ran it through the um big shot i put that one that one and that one no that one that one and that one down together because that's not too close and it doesn't interfere with each other put those dies in ran it through once and then came back and did that one that one and that one and so i did all of the cutting for this with two passes through the big shot so you know it's really easy to do that and then you get left with this assuming that your flirty flamingo is the right color and not really pale i'm glad i re-inked that that definitely needed that okay so we have our two little leaves our two pairs of leaves and our two flowers and then i've die cut the um the little so sentimental so so sweetly so stitched so sweetly dyed i'm not going to get that i'm going to have to i'm going to practice that <laughs> into this um banner piece and then i'm going to just stamp my happy birthday hope it's straight Ta -da! that's not bad so there we go that's my blackberry bliss happy birthday and i it doesn't matter if it's slightly off because you're going to put flowers on it and hide it anyway so it'll be 
you know nobody will notice and then I've got a piece of the flax white flax ribbon which is just wide enough to go across the front of my card and then we're going to put it together so it's a very simple apart from the stamping and the die cutting that's that probably takes the longest out of everything um but it's the fun bit isn't it <laughs> so you do that and you stick that down lovely and you hope you've got your card around yes you have good got the card around the right way that always helps now the center when you do this you can see maybe better on that side the impression that you get from that subtle embossing folder when you get to this it makes it a very um soft piece of paper so it definitely um you know does a lot of embossing on those paper fibers and, and, and it seems to break them down a little bit so there are it is very soft and flexible so you could actually mold it into shapes i think if you did the subtle you could make it into like if you used it on a, a plainer piece of paper you could use that and then mold it into flowers and stuff like that because it's it's much more flexible once it's been through the embossing folder so that might be something that you're interested in doing and then i'm going to use some tear tape if i can find my end bit of tear tape just pop it down now this does show through a little bit but it's going to be okay for our purposes just pop that down there give it a good rub with your nail because the more you press the better it sticks and then i'm just adding this to there now mine's just hanging over just a, a little bit extra this time because i i like these frayed ends and to fray these ends you just need to pull out the shiny bit that's in the middle see that I don't know if you can see that stitching coming over maybe if I do it like this I don't know but if you just pull that out from each end and then cut that off right down then you have this bit which is a little bit more loose it just has a little bit more feeling to it and then do the same on this side pull that out and if you do it once it's attached, then you don't get so much in a in a mess, she says. There we go. Seems to work easier. Pull that piece. Which is why I never stick it right to the end so that I've got a bit of wriggle room here. This bit is getting knotted somewhere. There we go. That's better. Okay, so now it's got a little bit of movement on the edges. I like that. This means that this piece will stick over the top of that so what I am doing is putting glue actually on the ribbon here and then that will stick on there I haven't used dimensionals or I'm not using dimensionals this time I think I did the first time but I think actually gluing through the ribbon is good because it adds an extra strength to the ribbon as well there we go and now we get our dimensionals out I've got my little and um, my mini ones and my fat ones fat ones are great for these flowers but it depends on where you're going to put them so if you want it there you want your leaves next to it I always attach the leaves before I finish positioning so I work out where that's going to go and that's kind of going to go there maybe even behind a bit but up a bit so stick that down there and then hold it till it sticks there we go and then I want the other one coming down here so this one's going to come down here so again just glue that bit there and then you can do all your dimensionals in one go just so if that makes sense so now you've got your positioned flower now you can do dimensionals and you can do a fat one over here and then some little ones on your leaves oops there we go like so and then when you take them off you're applying it then basically all is just one big uh, motif rather than three individual bits that you're trying to work out where they go so 
that's going to go there, like so. And then you do the same with the bun on the other side. That's, you know, job done. So apart from the die cutting, which does take a couple of minutes, and the embossing, again, another really quick and simple card that just is so pretty. These papers and these stamps are just lovely. I don't know which way around I want that. Yeah, that way I think. They're, they're just beautiful, aren't they? Just, and even though this isn't the lily, and I will do some stuff with the lily, but even though this isn't the lily, um, I don't think it matters. I think this whole cherry blossom look goes on top of anything. And because the lilies are so abstract, you know, when you put the lily stamp on it, yes, it, it's obvious that it's lilies, but when you put this on it, it, it isn't necessarily obvious. I don't want those up the top hip. I want them down the bottom. There we go. That looks better. And then I'll pop that under there, like so. I think a little bit like that. There we go. Right. So I really don't think you need to worry too much about um, you know always going same to same. I think it's okay to sometimes add different stamp sets in with different papers. That's what I'm trying to say. Badly, but you know, you know me. I mumble and fumble my way through my words. But we get there eventually. And hopefully it makes sense. There we go. I'm just gonna pop that one on there like that. So, what do you think? They're all gonna be slightly different because it just depends on where you decide to put your leaves and your flowers. I guess I could have made it, uh, you know, well, that's pretty close actually. <laughs> to be fair, that is pretty close to what it was. <laughs> but I could have made it different if I wanted to. I could have put it on the other side, for example. But there you go. Two birthday cards, really quick and easy. Beautiful colours. I mean, truly gorgeous paper. And the subtle embossing folder just really sets that off love beautifully. Don't you think? I hope you like it anyway. So that's me for another day. Come back, subscribe, buy anything you like in the store from the links below. And I will see you again here. Queen Pip for queenpipcards.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Cheers now. Take care now. Bye bye.